kingdom man, a part of God's plan. My father is the king, he owns everything. I'm a real man, I'm a kingdom man. Hello everybody, my name is Pastor Luke, I'm the founder of Men on Fire, and my passion is just to see men growing in the knowledge of who God is, and uh, centered on the will of God. Today I'm just going to share with you something that I felt is very crucial, and I uh, believe that this, this is one of the things that God is just trying to speak to us as men about. Uh, the title of my uh, short um, encouragement is going to be called, um, Every Man Should Know Who Their Father Is. Every man should know who their father is. Uh, the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 4, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And that is very crucial because God was showing me how the children of Israel turned away from God the one true living God, which is Yahweh. And you might be asking me, oh, well, brother men, how is that in relation to men? I think if we look at Israel, we can see the relationship they had with their father, who is God. They were promiscuous. They were unfaithful. They did not believe. They didn't know who their father was. They didn't know who God was. That caused a lot of chaos within the nation of Israel. The children of Israel, they broke the covenant with God. They went and then they served other gods for years. They were in um, slavery for years. They lived a, a lifestyle that was not intended by God for them to leave. They could not even walk into the promise that God had for them. Because they chose not to recognize who their father was. They could not even heed the word of their father. And coming now to this day and age, we have men that have not recognized who God is to them. They have refused to make God become their father. So the question that we should ask is, if God cannot father you, why would you expect a church to help you, to nourish you, to nurture you when you are not connected to your father. We were talking about, you know, you cannot worship God without the spirit because they that worship God must worship him in spirit and truth. We worship the father. Hallelujah. We worship the father, but we have to worship him with revelation. Most men are coming to church and they are not encouraged to do the work of God because they haven't got a relationship with their father. Maybe God has stopped speaking to them. Maybe their plans did not go according to what they have um, planned. So therefore, there is hatred towards God. There is rejection. Well, I don't feel like I've been um, accepted. So therefore, you know, the anger is towards God. You know, my life is not the way that I thought it should be. So therefore, the frustration and the anger, the disappointment, you're taking it out on either your friends, your wife, your children, just because your plans are not going according to your desire because you don't know who your father is. You're refusing to acknowledge your father. And I think one of the key areas that I believe God has been speaking to me about men and looking at Israel was the stubbornness within the, 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 the sons of God. There is a spirit of stubbornness and selfishness in serving God. A lot of men don't want to hear it. They don't want to know. Talk about giving in church. They don't, they don't even want to give. They're just so stubborn as their father the enemy, the liar, right? Because they refuse to acknowledge God as their father. So my question to you is, who is fathering you? If God is not fathering you, who is? Praise God. So men, they need to know who their father is in order for them to relate with God again. We can talk about the new creation as we did today. We talked about the new creation. 
We talked about born of the Spirit. We talked about all these benefits that we receive as we receive salvation. But it is key now for us to constantly be connected with the Father day in and day out. And a lot of men are losing their position because they are not connected to the Father. Every man is losing their focus on the things that God has called them to, to do because they're not connected to the Father. We are neglecting and abandoning our post as men because we are not connected to the Father. Our families are crying. Children are going through stuff because we are not connected to the Father, because it is not the will of God for us to live a life like we haven't got a father. Hallelujah. The prodigal son, when he came back home, he didn't have a desire to stay with his father in the house, in the palace. Did you get what I'm saying? If you read scripture, you see that the prodigal son, his meditation was based on, you know what? If I go back to my father's house, there are some servants there. I know they would have enough food to give me some. That was his mindset. He didn't see himself as a son anymore. Because of what he had, co the, he had committed a crime. He had committed a crime. He had lived a life that was not pleasing to the Father. But guess what? God is calling us men to come back home. And he wants to father us. He wants us to know that he is our source. He wants us to know that any dysfunction that we are, we are seeing in the body of Christ, that we are seeing within believers, it is just for lack of fatherlessness. People are not being fathers right now. Men will come to church, they're not willing to listen because they are not familiar with the voice of a father from home, from their background. What more of the voice of God? God said that you cannot tell me that you love me and you don't love your brother. God uses people to chastise you as a man. God uses people to reach out to you as a man, right? So if you cannot have people that you're submitted to, have people that make sure that, you know what, you're doing the things that God has called you to do, then how then can you be fathered by God when you don't have a voice in your life? When you not, don't have spiritual authority in your life? That gets to see whether you're doing the will of the Father or not. So, hence you see there is a high number of men that are rebelling in the house of God. Men are fornicating in the house of God. Because of the spirit of stub stubbornness and selfishness. No man wants to hear it because of lack of fatherlessness. But we have a father that is calling us home. Saying, son... You can come back home. I am here to father you. No longer will you be ashamed. No longer would you feel lonely anymore. Because I'm here to father you. Thank you.